is Abby Fenton and I'm the Youth Programs Director for the Will Steger Foundation and I'm here in Cleveland at Cleveland State University for Midwest Power Shift where we have 500 young people from across the Midwest here for a weekend of intense engagement on the coal front, on the fracking front, on uh, political engagement, on tar sands action and building the clean economy. There are so many amazing people in this room. I mean it's incredible. Like, the energy that you all have, the passion, the capacity, the intelligence, the vision, I mean, it's, it's palpable. It's clear that our generation faces one of the greatest moral challenges of all time. You young people really should be very upset with me and my generation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Young people across the country are taking action, but particularly here in the Midwest, uh, we're hit some of the hardest with the impacts of dirty energy. And through that dying industrial infrastructure that the fossil fuel economy has left us, there are these green, growing, uprising through the cracks, uh, this movement across the Midwest of young people shutting down coal plants on their campus, of uh, building green energy economies in their communities to start meeting those needs uh, that the fossil fuel economy has, has left behind. So we're, we're seeing the ability to create those clean energy jobs that the Midwest needs and that our generation so desperately needs. If the house is on fire, it doesn't make sense to save your room in the house. We cannot save our rooms, we must save the house. The 350 right now is working very closely with Tar Sands Action folks um, to stop the Keystone XL pipeline. Um, it is uh, literally where the environmental movement is drawing a line in the sand right now. It's a key issue. Um, leading climate scientists have said if this pipeline to bring tar sands oil from Alberta, Canada, down to the Gulf of Mexico is built, it'll open it up to full extraction potential, which means essentially game over for climate, which essentially means game over for life on Earth as we know it. The youth have the power and the ability to step up and say, look, I'm gonna come talk to you. I'm gonna come work this out. And also, we don't have a choice. Like, we are the ones that are dealing with it. And our children and their children, you know, it's kind of one of those situations where we should always be thinking seven generations. We should remember from seven generations ago, and we should remember seven generations ahead. And I think it's the youth that can really drive home that message. I'm never going to stop this fight because I'm from a state where we're dealing with the crap already from what they already built. And they're planning on doing the same thing with this Keystone XL. So, Obama, not only do you have to say no to this pipeline, we need to get it together and say this, this is just one baby step, for real. We need this victory, yeah, but that's just one step in the right direction to changing everything and going back and creating that clean energy future that we need. And we're in it for the long haul, right? Yeah. At National Power Shift, a quarter of all participants were from the Midwest. There were 10,000 10, kids there, right? I mean, we're, we're exploding. And when you look at who are the leaders on the national and international right, so. front, Many of them are from the Midwest, who are starting these incredible nonprofits and initiatives. Many of them are from the Midwest. So we're exploding, and we really want to like bring this, this opportunity here to you all now to help us take this to the next level. We never lost a battle that we fought. We never won a battle unless we fought. It's time to fight back. How much longer is this nation going to maintain an addiction to resources that puts our generation, my brother, our sisters, our family members in harm's way? This has to stop. And it starts with us. Make some noise in D.C. Make some noise in Lansing, Michigan. Make some noise in Minnesota. Make some noise in Ohio. Make some noise in Illinois. Make some noise in Wisconsin. If you don't have good sense, you ought to have hog sense and say, I'm not going.